Hi, I'm Luton. I work here in Atlanta as a gate agent. I've been with AirTran for three years now, and I have a question for you. The question is, I know that we're a different airline now. What to you makes us a different airline? Well, Luton, I, th I think what's most important is that as we're living it now, a year ago, our company was faced with adversity, and we stepped up, we fixed the problems, and we've come back strong. So what we have going for us, we have great people who are resourceful, we got a great product, and we've got the best cost structure in the industry. Hello, Bob. This is Vaughn Moody from the ramp in Atlanta. I would like to know, uh, are we prepared this year just in case we see a spike in gas prices like the year before? Vaughn, I think you know, managing our, our fuel costs now is probably our number one priority in the company. A year ago, we were faced with a situation where a run-up in oil put our company in a very difficult situation, and we're determined never to let that happen again. So right now we're getting ahead of the game on our, on our hedges. Uh, we are about 40, 45% hedged in the second half of the year with prices about $60 a barrel and at about 20% hedged in the first half of next year. So, so we are well ahead of the game. Uh, hopefully we won't need those hedges and we'll just be spending the money on insurance. But our goal is to make sure we are ahead of the game and make sure we have time to adjust in case we see another run up in fuel. Hello, Bob. My name is Barbara. I'm a customer service agent here at the ticket counter. I've been here for seven years. I'd like to ask a question. Have you considered expanding service into Jamaica? Barbara, with our success to uh, Cancun and San Juan, we're very happy with our performance in the Caribbean. And we're going to add a few more cities over the next couple years. And Jamaica is, is on a consideration list. Hi, Bob. My name is Simpson Paquette. I am employed with the company for eight years right now. Uh, my question to you is, uh, what is the company doing to employ more people in order to help the economy? Simpson, hey, congratulations on your award. You know, I think your question is very appropriate, uh, what, what happens going forward. Um, last September we had uh, furloughs for the pilots and flight attendants, and the real good news is we've all, all those uh, crew members have now come back. Um, and we are hiring in other work groups. I just came from a new flight attendant class. We're hiring agents in Atlanta. Baltimore, Orlando, and Milwaukee. So I, I think going forward, our, our, our employment outlook looks good. Um, we don't have a lot of growth over the next two years, but I think you'll see uh, slow recurring hiring over the next uh, coming months. Hi, Bob. My name is Laisha out of Atlanta. With the increase of flights out of Milwaukee, do you see that being our next future hub? Milwaukee is a key focus for us this summer because we're doubling our capacity. Over time, our goal is to, is to make Milwaukee uh, our Midwest hub. So and again, what it will do is help us balance out our root structure within the Northeast and the Southeast and Florida. We need a Midwest presence to develop our, our strength as a national airline.